nano and micro cell block disks after tissue processing. Instructions to histotechnologists. How to embed tissue processed, micro and nano cell block disks in paraffin. The cell block disk and tissue cassette, after going through tissue processing protocol. Remove the tissue process cell block disk from the tissue cassette and put it in the metal mold. The side with tissue paper cover on the nano or micro disc should be facing up. The bottoms of the wells in the nano or micro disc with concentrated specimen face down. The bottoms of the wells form the cutting surface of the final paraffin block. Secure the nano or micro disc perfectly touching the flat surface of the mold and then pour the mold in paraffin. Let the paraffin solidify slightly, while stabilizing the nano or micro disc, by pushing down with the blunt forceps. Put the tray portion of the tissue cassette on the mold, and continue to add additional malt and paraffin as usual. Let the paraffin solidify by cooling. Dislodge and pull out the paraffin block from the metal mold as usual. Cutting of the final paraffin block with AV marker as a guide. Mount the trimmed paraffin block with cell block disc, on the block holder of microtome as usual. Rough cut, the block to remove superficial, redundant paraffin which covers the cutting surface of the cell block and base portion of the nano or micro disc, to reach closer to the bottoms of wells in the nano or micro disc with concentrated specimen. As usual, continue with fine cutting, until the dark colored AV marker is exposed. The level at which the AV marker can be seen, is the level where the diagnostic material in the wells of the cell block, starts appearing. Depending on the cellularity of initial specimen, the concentrated diagnostic material should be present in deeper levels after this. Transfer the sections to the glass slides as usual. Please maintain the orientation of each serial section, identically on each slide, with the help of location of the dark colored AV marker on the section. As recommended by SEIP approach, maintain the serial order of each section, with reference to their sequential position in the paraffin ribbon on different slides, for appropriate interpretation of ancillary studies, such as immunohistochemistry. This facilitates easy location of same cells, and structures on different adjacent levels, like cinematographic frames, for interpretation of coordinate events, such as immunoreactivity pattern. The cellularity of areas corresponding with wells, after the visibility of dark AV marker, for the first time depends on the cellularity of the specimen. Similarly, the depth to which the diagnostic cells will continue to be present in the sections, also depends on specimen cellularity.